ladies and gentlemen we finally have some news some changes which are going to come next week supposedly with patch 10.2.6 and there are healing changes involved in that as well but the first thing that i'm going to say is i think those are a little bit late maybe a little bit unnecessary and definitely not at the direction or the changes that we actually wanted to see I'm going to go through them one by one, but let's just mention that uh, Season 3 is basically over at this point. Yes, there's going to be maybe a month, maybe even more of uh, playtime until the next season comes out, until Season 4 comes out, because this is not going to be in patch 10.2.6. However, people are not pushing keys anymore. Whatever score you reach, you're probably content being there. Uh, whoever killed whatever bosses in raids, they're done. Or maybe they're stuck at a boss, but those changes are not going to uh, kind of affect this in any way. So nobody is basically playing the game competitively already, except for maybe a few people that are still left pushing, still left uh, progressing bosses, etc. But I would assume that this is a very small percentage. Uh, so having something like that with uh, those minor changes uh, is if they actually needed to be there, they should have done this a lot sooner than uh, what they've done instead. At the, the end of the season and uh let's hope that uh there's going to be bigger changes for season four because some classes are crying about uh reworks about uh, certain improvements and we definitely didn't see that over here now uh let's go quickly through the changes first and then i'm going to mention a few more thoughts uh, on them first uh, restoration druid rejuvenation healing increased by 12 percent now this is something that's probably aimed towards the raid and uh, I would assume that most uh, Druids are not going to be happy about this. I haven't played Druid in Raid and I don't play Druid that much in M+. But Reju Rejuvenation is a button that you don't press a lot in M+. But I think you spam this a lot in Raid. Now, uh, the fact that Druids are not bring, bring, uh, brought in for big progression during Raids... Uh, is not due to the fact they have low HPS, because this is going to increase their HPS significantly, or maybe not significantly, but by a lot, but uh, it's more of the way that their healing profile works and what they bring to the raid. They don't bring a lot, uh, except for Mark of the Wild, but usually have some kind of a druid, which is in DP aspect that brings that, so bringing a healer just for that is not sufficient. And then... Um, of course, um, I lost my thought here, sorry. Um, I was going to say that uh, I actually talked to some of the healers uh, in my new guild, and they were saying, well, we don't have Restoration Druids, and we don't actually want to have some, simply because they're just uh, padding the meters, right? Their healing is not insignificant, but they don't have like big cooldowns they can press to save the raid. They just put their hearts and they're just padding the meters, and that's something that we're not interested in having. Uh, so I think if we want to see changes that are going to buff restoration druid in raid, they should be aimed at this, the druid not just spatting but actually healing when they need to, instead of just uh, increasing their raw HPS, which was not bad anyway, uh, even before that. Now uh, let's jump to Evoker. Uh, the Evoker has some changes, they're buffing some talents that are not being used, they're increasing some of the healing a little bit, so your HPS is going to be better, which is great. But as it's uh, written here, right, um, we are aware of the rage, re rage restrictions that the Preservation Evoker has, and they haven't done anything about that. Now, if you look into all of this, I think every Preservation Evoker there, and there's probably not that many left, is going to throw this away in the trash bin if they remove the uh, range restriction. And the reason for that is that the Evoker HPS is not that bad, but people just don't want to play it because... And one of the biggest reasons, it's not the only reason, but one of the biggest reasons is the rage restrictions. And in uh, in general, this is just a handicap that you have uh, that you don't need to, right? When Preservation of Ochre was initially released, it would do insane amount of damage and insane amount of healing. So everybody used to play it until the nerfs came. And they were fine with handicapping themselves with the range restriction because they were doing so much more than the other healers. Now that the Evoker is on par with the other healers, why would you handicap yourself with the range restriction when you're doing the same as 
or maybe even less, uh, as other healers, right? You can just play something else, you would do the same HPS or the same damage, and then uh, you have less range. So um, I think that this is a very dumb from Blizzard not actually addressing this. And if I'm too bad, they are going to remove that range restriction, right? At some point down the line, it's going to be gone. So why is it still here? Why are we suffering and why are people who are playing this class uh, being handicapped for basically no reason, right? You don't have benefit uh, for, for that handicap. Uh, people say, oh, it's a niche spec. Now, in my mind, niche is something that solves a problem in a specific way and you're basically the only one who can do that. But there's no problem here. There's just handicap, right? There's no reason for you to have less, less range than everybody else because you're not solving a problem this way, right? You're not doing more. So uh, it's just, why are you not removing this now, right? They're just waiting for a few patches down and that's going to be the big uh, sellout point for the patch. It's just dumb, right? So uh, this needs to go and that's that. That's all I have to say about it. And then there's uh, Mist Reaver basically nerfs. Uh, all healing is reduced by 6% and then some of these spells are basically not going to get affected by that because they're getting a 6% increase, which is Sharon's Gift, Jade Fire Stomp, and Expel Harm. I think this is aiming to nerf the Mist Reaver Monk in raid to just lower their HPS a little bit because I think they're very far up top there uh, compared to everybody else. But uh, why do it now? Like that late in the season, uh, I suggest that it doesn't make much sense. Um, I could see why they want to nerve them a little bit because I think they're with a huge percentage percentage in front of everybody else. Uh, but again, as I said, the season is over. If you're going to make changes, maybe make them for next season or something. Uh, it just doesn't make sense right now. Um, but it is uh, what, what it is. And the other thing is that they're starting to nerf again, right? Mist Reaver was in a very good spot this season. Everybody played it. Everybody enjoyed the game style. Uh, everybody enjoyed running it both, both in Mythic Plus. And I guess they enjoyed Raid. I didn't enjoy the spec where it just overheal. That's why I didn't play it. But um, it was a very popular spec. And now they're starting to nerf it. Which brings me to my other point. Uh, we remember what happened to uh, Holy Paladin in uh, t patch 10.1.5. They made the reward. It was very popular. Everybody played it. They started nerfing it. And look at where H Pow is now. Nobody's playing it, basically. right? So I'm afraid that if they're starting with the nerfs, Mist River could fall down that line. And next season, at some point, everybody's going to be playing something else. And nobody's going to be playing Mist River. Um, so... That brings me to the point that they should be buffing the, the classes that are underperforming and not nerfing the ones that are actually feeling good when uh, they're being played. Uh, because why did everybody play H Power last season? Because it was overpowered. And when we want to play something, we want to feel powerful pressing the spells, right? This is why everybody played H Power. This is why everybody plays Mist Reaver this season. And uh, I think that instead of we seeing these nerfs, they should have buffed, uh, okay, they buffed Preservation Evoker a little bit. I don't think that's going to make any difference because of uh, the range restrictions are still there. But we don't see Holy Paladin in this list. There's no changes to Holy Paladin and nobody's playing that class simply because it feels very hard to play it. Uh, so again, I think that instead of going down to the niche of nerfs, they should actually bring up some of the classes, make them exciting to play, make, make them more powerful to play. So more, more people jump into the train of playing them and enjoying what they're doing in game. So uh, those are my thoughts, basically. Um, I, I hope that uh, we're going to see some bigger news for Season 4 with maybe some reworks for some of the classes. And uh, I would like to see more buffs in general to healing uh, and much less nerfs to some of the classes that are already performing good because this is what's going to make people play healers again if it feels good, right? Not if it feels bad because you're getting nerfed every week is what happened to uh, Holy Paladin. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you like the changes? Would you like to see something else, something more? And I'll see you guys soon. Hopefully more content next week and some news about Season 4. Until then, enjoy whatever you're doing in-game. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Take care and get out of here.